Robin, this is Shirley with Northcutt Toyota, and this is the blue Highlander I was talking to you about. I'm going to open it up here in just a second and let you look inside, but I just thought I'd give you a sneak peek of the outside here. Okay, here's the inside of it. You can see it has the leather seats. It's got the wood grain panel. Right there is your navigation system. You can see right here is your cruise control. You have all your stereo controls right here. Even your Bluetooth right here for your cell phone, um, windshield wipers, signal lights, all that. It does have what we call a smart key, and that's what that is right there. As long as you have that key right there in your purse or in your pocket, you don't ever have to use it to start the vehicle. All you do is just simply get in. This little button that's right here. Put your foot on the brake. Push it. Oh, and it will start. Okay, you can also see right there is your leather seats. You can see where you can heat and cool them right here. Here's your navigation system. All your air right here where you can get your fan up and down. Also, you can set your rear temperature right here. When you're through driving and you're ready to go into park, you just simply push that button right there and it shuts off. Robin, you also have your power seats here. You can see right here that this right here raises up the knee and lowers the knee. This right here lets the seat go forward and backwards. This knob right here lays the back seat right here up and down. And this is your lumbar support right here to be able to adjust it in the bottom part of your back. Okay, here's the second row, and this is what we were talking about. It can come in and out. You just simply take it out, and it stows right up underneath there. And then the kids can walk, and this is the back seat right there. With those headrests that you see right there, those go up and down, and right now they're in the down position, but I'll put them up here and just see. The back of the vehicle, the back hatch, just press the controller on your key fob here and it automatically comes up and down and that only will go up and down when the vehicle is not running. Just a safety feature. But here is your back headrest. You can see right here that they'll, they'll flip up. And then whenever you don't want them up anymore because maybe you don't have a drive, a passenger back here, you just simply pull that right there and they flop down. Okay, Robin, to put down the back hatch, you just simply push the button that's on the remote and it will go down. Or there is also a switch up by the driver's seat that will do it also. And this is the Blue Highlander. It is a limited edition. You have your running boards. You do have a sunroof in there, the navigation system. It is a 2008. So there is the Blue Highlander. Robin, to put down the back hatch, you just simply push the button that's on the remote and it will go down. Or there is also a switch up by the driver's seat that will do it also. And this is the Blue Highlander. It is a limited edition. You have your running boards. You do have a sunroof in there, the navigation system. It is a 2008. So there is the Blue Highlander. Okay, Robin, now I'm going to make way over here to the White Blizzard Pearl Highlander. This is the hybrid. I'm going to come right over here and show you the window sticker on here. If you can see it through here, the average miles per gallon is 27 in town, 25 on the highway. Once you kind of get it broke in, you might be averaging somewhere more around like 30 miles per gallon in town. And I know running kids around Clinton there, that'll probably come in really handy. Now, this vehicle also has the keyless entry. Again, as long as it's in your purse or in your pocket, 
You just simply walk up to the door and it will open for you. But maybe you heard that beep. It also has the leather seats. Here's your power on the side. It also has power on the passenger side also. And I'll just kind of very slowly go through here and show you the inside of it. Okay, here is the second row of the hybrid. What's that middle part is the stowaway. It's the one you can take out and stow away right up underneath down there. And that way it's out of your way. The kids can enter and exit out through here if they wish. And then here's your third row. And what I do, I've got one headrest up and I've got the other one down. And this will show you how they can be either or. And again, that they can flip down and that can also lay down flat. The back hatch, you can control from up front or also from your key fob here. And it is power, so you can see it going up. Those seats, again, do lay down flat. Or you can go right up here, press the button right here, and put it down, and it will go down automatically there for you also. But this is the Highlander Hybrid in the Blizzard White Pearl. And next, I'll well, go to the Sequoia for you. Okay, Robin, right here is the Sequoia. White. A little bit bigger, a little more room that it's going to have than what the other ones have. Okay, here's the inside from the driver's side. There's your power seats. The leather. And I'll just kind of take you up and around through here. You can see right over there is a double glove box. You have your dual air. You can adjust your air for the driver here, for the passenger right over there. Six disc CD player. You have an auto window right here that will let your back window up and down. Your cruise control. Of course, your windshield wipers, signal lights, lights, all that. Now, this one has a regular key. But what this one also has right here is what we call our side curtain airbags. In case of a rollover, you have airbags that's going to come out right here. It does also have standard side curtain airbags. Right up there is your sunroof. Okay, this is your second row. And as you can see how I have adjusted, I have this seat up a little bit further. Each row or each part of the second row, you can pull up and get it closer to you or however you need to. It does make access to the third row a little bit easier. The lever is right here and you just simply pull it up and that, that lets you into the third row. And then I will get into the third row here and show you how easy it is to get in. Now, you can either lay your seats down flat or they can go up like that. Now to exit the third row, right down here on the bottom is a little foot lever. Simply put your, put your foot on there and it slides it up and that's how you get out. Very easy access in and out. Okay, Robin, here's from the back with the back hatch up. You can see how all the seats lay down flat. Even up to the second row, how I have it. any questions or email me any questions that you might have and I'll talk to you later. Again, thanks for calling.